Hi there, my name's Don Tipping. I'm here in the field weeding all day, growing seed crops. So behind me you'll see quinoa and lettuce and radishes. Over here we've got popcorn, sweet corn. And as we walk along here, I'll just take you on a little tour here. We've got a couple acres here of pumpkins, uh, Painted Hills sweet corn. This is some snap beans for seed. A beautiful purple dove bean with its purple flowers, black turtle beans, tomatoes, melons, sunflowers, winter squash, leeks, Swiss chard, broccoli. A whole variety of crops we're growing here in one out of four fields for Siskiyou seeds. So this is what we've been doing here for over 20 years is producing high quality vegetable, flower, and herb seeds to share throughout the Northwest and also the entire country at large. And we've been growing many of these varieties for close to 20 years and adapting them to our climate here. And I believe this to be one of the more important tools that we have in our toolbox to address climate change is helping our food supply to adapt to changing climate. And the only way to do that is by saving seeds year after year in the climate you want to adapt the crop to. But you're also adapting to the pests and disease that are prevalent in those crops and helping the plants learn how to evolve with the challenges that they face. So this is something that sadly our industrial food supply is not thinking about. Instead they use various uh, sprays and other ways to control the challenges, greenhouses, that kind of thing. Yet, uh, ultimately going with the resiliency in nature is a really good way to do this. So, if you believe in this work, one way that you can help us to do this is to support our Indiegogo campaign. That's live right now. You can go to Siskiyou Seeds at Indiegogo and help contribute to this effort so we can continue to do this work, do the plant breeding, training new seed growers, and traveling uh, to other regions to help get seed production hubs happening like this all over the country. That's really what we need to address the scale of the challenges that we face. And I have a lot of hope and faith that it's entirely possible, but it's only going to happen if we do it. And because it's for all people, if you participate in it, it's one way to help support the circle of life. So blessings to you. Peace.